Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're looking over all that we know about the fifth entry in the Mad Max film series Furiosa. Beware, spoilers abound. Now pick up what you can and run. From George Miller and his team. By all accounts, Furiosa A Mad Max Saga is in good hands, with it being directed and co-written by Mad Max franchise creator George Miller, along with co-creator Byron Kennedy. Miller began the post-apocalyptic series in 1979 with a then-21-year-old Mel Gibson in the titular role. You and me are gonna talk about the toe cutter. Three installments followed, Mad Max 2 The Road Warrior, Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome, and Mad Max Fury Road, the latter releasing some 30-plus years after its predecessor and sans Gibson. <laughs> Furiosa reteamed Miller with his Fury Road crew including editor Margaret Sixel, production designer Colin Gibson, sound mixer Ben Osmo, and costume designer Jenny Bevan, all of whom won Oscar awards for their work on the previous film. Oh, what a day! What a lovely day! Additionally, Simon Duggan, who worked on 2016's Hacksaw Ridge, serves as the film's cinematographer. Please, Lord, help me get one more. Help me get one more. It's a prequel. We're not gonna lie, the Mad Max timeline is a wee bit confusing. What's your name? What do I call you? Within the many movies and other IP-related output, there have been plenty of contradictions and loose connections, to say the least. Essentially, each film takes place during a different juncture in the story's post-apocalyptic world. As for Furiosa A Mad Max Saga, it will act as a prequel to Mad Max Fury Road and delve into the origins of that film's standout character, Imperator Furiosa. Played by Charlize Theron in the previous installment, Furiosa handled logistics for Warlord and Morton Joe's Citadel. Remember me? However, she rebels against him to rescue the Five Wives. You want to get through this? Do as I say. The character was praised by critics and audiences alike. This was in part due to her being a fierce female action heroine who can mix it up just as well or even better than the men in the series. The Story As mentioned, Furiosa A Mad Max Saga stands as a prequel to Mad Max Fury Road and centers on protagonist Furiosa. Promise me you'll find your way home. The official synopsis from Warner Brothers reads in part, quote, As the world fell, young Furiosa is snatched from the green place of many mothers and falls into the hands of a great biker horde led by the warlord Dementus. It also states that they will come across the citadel presided over by extreme baddie the Immortan Joe. It's then that the two warlords, Dementus and Joe, go to war, leaving Furiosa to, quote, put together the means to find her way home. The film is also heavily expected to answer questions around how the character lost her arm and gained the prosthetic that's featured in Fury Road. Plus, if the trailer is any indication, this installment will feature its fair share of rip roaring action extravagance. I'm furious! The darkest of angels. The cast. Furiosa boasts an impressive cast of acclaimed actors, many well versed in the action genre. Starting with Furiosa herself, this younger version will be portrayed by Emmy-winning actress Anya Taylor-Joy. Fans will know Taylor-Joy from films like The Witch and TV series like The Queen's Gambit. I would say that it's much easier to play chess without the burden of an Adam's apple. Of course, we cannot forget her voice turn as Princess Peach in the Super Mario Brothers movie. We are going to stop Bowser. But even with a varied filmography, Furiosa stands as Taylor-Joy's most action-oriented role. Chris Hemsworth is no stranger to the genre, however, and he plays the villainous warlord Dementus. Not only is Hemsworth stepping out of his usual MCU hero role, but based on the trailer, he's also fairly unrecognizable. This is thanks to some truly stellar makeup design. Another new face to the franchise will be Tom Burke in an undisclosed role. Burke received acclaim for his work on the 2016 BBC miniseries War and Peace. <laughs> You'll have to show me how to do that one. <laughs> Trade secret, my boy. 
as for who is returning, viewers can look out for fan favorites Nathan Jones as Rictus Erectus and Angus Sampson as the organic mechanic. Perfect in every way. Production Furiosa, a Mad Max saga, began filming back in June 2022. The production had previously been delayed due to the COVID-19 pandemic and commenced when restrictions were lifted. According to an Instagram post from Anya Taylor-Joy, filming wrapped in October of 2022. The intensive production primarily took place in New South Wales, Australia, with the two main towns used being Hay and Silverton. Release Furiosa, a Mad Max saga, is one of the most anticipated films on the 2024 movie release calendar. Originally slated for June 23, 2023, Warner Brothers delayed the release to May 24, 2024, to coincide with Memorial Day weekend in the United States. Furiosa will do battle at the box office with other high-profile movies opening that weekend, including Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes and the Garfield movie. And while rumors have swirled that Furiosa may make its premiere at the 2024 Cannes Film Festival in early May, no confirmations have been made at this time. Following an exclusive theatrical release, including IMAX showings, the film will eventually make its way to the Warner Brothers streaming service Max for home viewing. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Sequel Miller & Co. are also said to be working on a direct sequel to Mad Max Fury Road, titled Mad Max The Wasteland. I am your Redeemer! It is by my hand you will rise from the ashes of this world! Miller noted in an interview with Digital Spy that Furiosa is currently not featured in that film story. They're looking for hope. What about you? Redemption. However, he says that with the project a work in progress, the door is still open, meaning there is still the possibility that Furiosa finds a spot in the flick. In the meantime, Moviegoers will just have to get their Furiosa fix when her starring film hits cinemas in 2024. Whatever you have to do. However long it takes. What details about Furiosa, a Mad Max saga, have your motor revving? Let's chat in the comments. You have it in you to make it epic. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.